So in the last few videos, I've shown you how you can piece together some 3D parts. And so I have made um, a few different parts. This one I'm calling a T-support. This one I'm calling a support with a hole. So you can see it's just rectangular with a hole through it. I have a little wheel, as you can see here, nothing too crazy. And I have just an axle, which is just a, a cylindrical axle, as you can see right here. Now, what I want to show you how to do is how we can actually take parts that we have designed one by one and assemble them. So what we're going to do is go to an assembly view. We can create an assembly um, by going down here, hitting the plus button, and doing create assembly. I've already done that here. Um, but now I'm able to take these parts that I've created and actually assemble them in the way that I want them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one of my T supports and also one of my uh, supports with holes. So I'm going to do that right here. Okay. Now, you can see right now that they are just on top of each other, which is not what I want. Um, so it would be good, perhaps, if you think about it, to kind of move these away from each other. I can slide this this way. You can sort of see that now these two parts are uh, in my drawing and what I might want to do is take this part and place it right in this space. Now the way I want to actually do this is I want to create something that's called a planar mate, meaning I want to tell on shape what relationship I want between a plane on this part and a plane on that part. So it's pretty straightforward. I can select a planar mate I can select the center of this side of my assembly, like this, and I can say I want it to mate together with this center, uh, the center of this surface right here. Now you can see there that is not the way I want that to go because that's actually going through my object. So I can flip that and now have it the way I want it. Now, I also know that I want this hole to be facing this way and not up. So I can go to the, the mate connector, and this is, this is the relationship that I've created between these two objects, and I can adjust it a little bit. So I can take this, and you can see rotate it around, and so I can uh, directly say that I want this to be 90-degree um, rotation, and now you can see that this is in the position that I want it. To be in. So let's keep assembling this now. Let's add in another one of my support with holes into this drawing. Okay, so let's add in another one of these supports. Okay, looking pretty good. And now one more of these T supports to uh, close off this frame. Now, one thing I want you to know about that one, notice that uh, as I did that one, I chose this uh, part first because you want to set, well, essentially, I wanted to make sure that this part moved and connected with this. So you select the side that you'd like to uh, connect first on the part that you want to move in, and then you select the face or the plane that you want it to actually uh, connect with. So we're going to uh, 
prove that. It looks like we have a little error. Let's see what it doesn't like. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, great. So we can see that we now have a complete little assembly here. The next thing that we want to do is we want to actually put on one more uh, part here, but this time we don't want to use a planar fit. Uh, we have a whole bunch of different options here. We actually want to use a Revolute, which uh, Revolute make, which as you can see in the, in the uh, description here when you mouse over it, it says that uh, this kind of connection makes it so that the parts can rotate about an axis. Um, uh, basically, we want to make it so that uh, an, an axle that we put through here can rotate through that hole. So let's actually do that. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is insert the axle into this drawing, into this assembly. Okay, so you can see there. Next thing, I'm just going to turn this just a bit. Just the tab. Okay, so we'll say yes. And now we want to do a um, a revolute mate. We're going to put this. We're going to select this cylindrical side, and we're going to select the hole. Now you may may have to rotate the frame a bit in order to get the right view, the view that we need here. So we'll do that like so. Okay, so you can sort of see that, that we've gotten that. It appears to be what we want, so we can hit the check mark. And now we have an axle that is in the middle. How about that? Okay. Mix that up. Okay, last thing. Let's add in our little wheel. Now this wheel, we also want to have as a revolute mate because we want the wheel to essentially um, have its hole be aligned with the axle. So we'll select the hole and we'll select this here. And now you can see that we have assembled all of those parts into a frame.